What up, family? Good morning. Yo, this is why I need to put on my glasses because I was absolutely recording a diary and as I'm getting to the end, I'm noticing that the clock isn't even moving. Good morning, folks. What was I talking about? I was, I was talking about returning to love and listening to the words that you speak. Yesterday, I decided that I needed to be very intentional about the ways that my identity intersects with every aspect of my life. My sexuality, my spirituality, my writer's life, my writer's journey, Alicia as teacher, as mother, lover, leader, organizer, daughter. I want to be very mindful of the words that I speak and the things that I choose to share. This morning I woke up thinking about the ways we infect one another. Even a simple post that we think is funny at the time, but can be so harmful. The things that we post even on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, those words that we speak, because if we're sharing it, it's because on some level we're believing it, and on some, on some level we want to put it out to infect others and we're either infecting people with some good medicine or we're infecting people with some poisonous shit it may it may not be your intention but know that that is the truth if you are sharing traumatic shit you are spreading that traumatic shit it's what it is how are we choosing to move and what are the words that we are choosing to speak on a regular basis? How are we loving? We can be those people moving on the train that meet our match, that we see someone who's losing it, who's all kinds of going off and choose to either engage or choose love. And be like, you know what, this person's going through it. I'm not gonna take the bait. I'm just gonna send them love from a distance because I'm not gonna let them infect me because that's not what I'm choosing. That's not how I'm choosing to move with integrity and love and peace. I know that we're angry and I know that we've inherited a lot of trauma, a lot of things that we haven't been taught how to deal with and we've had to teach ourselves. I know what that is, I have taught myself. Some people are too proud to seek a therapist, to seek spiritual counsel, guidance a healer, a diviner, an oracle, a shaman, a santera, a babalao. But know that there are people, there are people with their words who want to help you, who have a cure. There is a cure. We don't have to walk around infecting everyone because we're infected and because we can't be happy that they are healing because we can't be happy for them because when you're infected it feels good to have everybody else around you infected it's not what we're doing today we are listening to the words that we are speaking how are we moving up moving in the world how are we staring at complete strangers? Are we someone in our relationships who withholds love? We should look at that. Are we someone in our relationships who punish people when we're not getting what we need or when we're feeling powerless? We should look at that. What are the words? Listen to the words that you are speaking when you say, that's just my truth. That's just how I feel and no one's gonna tell me how to speak. You are absolutely right. I am not here to tell you how to speak. I am here to tell you that you are going to attract the things you speak. 
most definitely, most certainly, and absolutely. I am very intentional. I don't want to be around people who gossip. I don't want to be around people who are jealous and envious of other people's success. I don't want to be around people who are abusive verbally, physically, sexually. Because I'm listening to the words that I speak. I don't need to be around that. You could be a friend or a family member. I don't need to be around you because you are not affect you are not infecting me. These are the choices that we're making. Like when we are when we are walking in love, when we are returning to love, we can love those people, but they just can't be in our immediate space because it's not our responsibility to, to disinfect. <laughs> Yo, for real, it's just not. It's not, it's not our job. And so I'm on here this morning to just encourage you to um, find a way to return to love. Truly, self-love. It's beautiful when you have a partner, but I'm really an advocate for self-love. Because when you don't love yourself, when you're not good to yourself, when you're not speaking loving, kind, gentle words to yourself, you cannot love nobody. Nobody. You can try. You know, the highest form of love that I could have for my daughter, what that was, what that moment was, getting some fucking therapy. Taking my ass to a fucking therapist, period. That is the greatest expression of love that I could have gifted her, was work on your shit. Because I'm trying to be someone who walks in integrity and I'm trying to teach her some things, so modeling some things was really holding a mirror to myself and saying, we're gonna look at all the ways that you are infected right now and how you are infecting her and all, and all the ways that you can undo that, how you can fix that, how you can heal from it. And so I've been on this journey for a long time, 27 years of self-love, of moving towards self-love, being an advocate for it, being a leader in the cause in many ways, for real. So let's love ourselves a little more today. Let's love others a little more today. Let's do what we need to do to take care of ourselves and get uninfected. And let's try to stop infecting each other. So let's breathe. Because I'm about to go do my card of the day, my card of the day for y'all. Let's breathe. I just dropped the baby off. My beautiful foster daughter, this beautiful black baby. She's gorgeous and growing so big. I'm sorry y'all can't see her. She's beautiful and healthy and so big. Let's breathe. Today I will, cho I will choose to be more loving. You know you can pause this meditation at any moment to write journal meditate on what's rising for you today I will choose to be more loving towards make a list list how you will be more loving the greatest expression of expression of love that I can give myself today is my intention for today. My intention for today is to bring love to all of the spaces that I move in. I wish you all, wish you all a beautiful day.